Dupinski's system. I remember this. Oh no! We have grass in our building. Oh no. Hello everyone, Thranks is here, and welcome back to No Man's Sky, episode 150. Where today, we're going to spend some time with our base and our starship and just getting things in order. Um, first of all, though, I've decided to go ahead and make it official. This Exocraft is my favorite. I do like the Pilgrim, but yeah. I, I think I think it's, it's long since overdue that we perhaps spend a little bit of time here. And I've been looking at some of the options so as not to belabor it. But we're going to go ahead and put all these, these neat little... So those are cool too. I like these decals though, honestly. And then for the paint, I was thinking something maybe No, I think that's what we're going to do right there. So let's go ahead and save those changes. There we go. Very sleek looking. The decals are subtle, but there the engine is kind of that nice violet that I like. And then for the name, we're going to go ahead and call it the Azure Spark. Because it's a little blue flame. No, see? And then now, there we go. Now we have our nice little, little exocraft customized and I think to continue along with that we're gonna go ahead and stay see I think if we stone do blue and white I think that looks sort of spiffy maybe that's not a good color huh let's try blue and orange Perhaps stone is not the way to go. I do like the stone look. Maybe purple is how we we complement the blue. I did not pre-plan this out very well. Blue and red, gray and red. Now let's go with the, the blue and white, I think. Or now let's go with the purple and blue. That's how we'll that's how we'll complement it, and there you go. Now we have our little exocraft station right here underneath our landing pad. I wish there was a way to paint our starships. Ah, the sun is setting behind our capital ship. I love it when that happens. Perhaps one day we'll be able to paint our ships. For now, though, we can change the name. Um, this was brought up by Clinton Davies in the comments, and I do appreciate that very much. However, I need to give this some more thought. I'm not sure what I want to name this just yet. For now, I think we're going to go ahead and store this star stilk in our starship. In our hauler there. Uh, because really what we need to do... Oh no, did I use up all my indium? I did a bad thing. I had all this activated indium, and instead I used up my indium. And that was my method for getting more magnetized ferrite. So we've got a little bit of work ahead of us. I think. Here, let's go ahead, because we don't, I don't want these ships orbiting overhead and everything's just going to get all wonky. Let's go ahead and we'll just we'll park our hauler right here. So it's not too far away, but... Oh! Goodness! Not too far away. That's ridiculous far away. What have I done? What have I done? Well, we're obviously going to use up launch fuel to fly this thing back now. So let's do that. We'll just park it right here. No! No! I beg of you. But look, they're landing on the other side. So this must be... Well, that was a waste. But hold on. Did you see this hauler? Look at that color. 
It's an A class, 38 plus 6. It's not bad. <clears throat> I think that's medium. It's medium size for a hauler, though, so. In any event, we have our large hauler. So what I want to do, actually, is summon can I summon my other ship. Yeah, the Katsadam's coup, maybe right there. Go ahead and come on in for landing. Because you have all of that delicious platinum. That's right, yes you do. And some tritium. We're going to borrow that. some of that platinum, borrow a little bit more of this gold and some more platinum, and of course the frost crystal, we're going to go ahead and take that, and then the star silk, I think we'll put the star silk actually on the colossus, that's, that's where I want that stuff to be stockpiled. So let's go ahead, we'll reactivate this starship, and then we'll throw this on the Colossus as well. That way it's nearby for decorations, but it's not taking up any of this precious space. And then with our Platinum, I think, yeah, we'll go ahead and start repairing some of these shattered bulwarks. There we go, we're going to get all this inventory opened up. Better believe that. Magnetized ferrite, and we still need paraffinium, which sadly, that's going to involve a trip. Not sadly, but it's it's going to involve a, a small trip to our other base because we actually don't have a stockpile of paraffinium in storage, uh, nor do we have a stock... Well, we have some paraffinium, but we don't have a stockpile of... of um, Star star bulbs either. It's not being the case. Let's go ahead and peek at this. I think we can go ahead and we'll take this into our inventory, this Lemium, this Herox. Leave this platinum on board here. Now let's see for our exosuit. I only want a stack of platinum in reserve here. I think anything beyond that is unnecessary. So 300 of it will need to go back onto our starship. Let's go ahead and do that. That's fairly acceptable. I do accept these terms. Let's go ahead and make some storage. What was our chromatic? I'm not remembering. Ooh, short on that magnetized ferrite. Well, it might be time to go check our refiners and do some processing. Everyone knows how much I love my, my space magic refiners. Let's put some... I believe we have some emerald in there. And then we put that with ferrite dust. I believe we get, yes, magnetized ferrite at a 1 to 3. So we'll pull the trigger on that. And we'll grab some more of this chromatic metal, which we have lots and lots and lots of. Look at it all. It is astounding. And still some activated indium in here. Okay, well, process that. This one, as well, has some activated indium. Oh my. Chromatic metal forever. I'm tempted to say if we can buy the paraffinium from here. Look at all that lemium. Oh. Goodness. Goodness, goodness. We can buy some paraffinium and salt. Let's... You know what? We don't have the inventory space for those things. Not at all. We could cycle some glass to the Colossus. Hmm. It might be time to summon yet another Exocraft for storage.
So I suppose... So we'll just go ahead and place this... We don't have the magnetized ferrite. Oh, we really hurt ourselves using all of our magnetized ferrite, didn't we? I mean, we have lots of ferrite dust, so we can totally convert more if we needed to. So we'll first we'll go to storage, and we'll get number five down, because that's got our chromatic metals in it, if I recall. You're not going to let me pick it back up? Oh, the humanity. Okay. How about number four? <laughs> you have chosen poorly. How about number three? What's behind door number three? Really? It's got to be number two, then. I say that, and watch, it won't be. Nope, it is. Oh, no. Did we take all the emerald out and not put it back? Oh, my goodness gracious. So we actually have a little bit of, of different things that we need to convert so we don't lose it all. All right, which starship is active right now? Cat Saddam's coup. I would like to activate my hauler, which is the Yanao Sentinel. I shouldn't get used to those names, the Yanao Sentinel 4, because we're not going to keep it. We need technology modules we're going to need to buy quite a bit of. This is actually almost fully repaired. We're just using up tremendous amounts of storage. And the tetracobalt and chloride lettuce, that stuff can be knocked out completely. Um, let's let's go ahead and we'll start sending the tetra cobalt to the starship and the lemium and the herox I think that's all we're gonna send for now 18 phosphorus we don't need that really three condensed carbon what a waste of a what a waste of a space there. Sodium nitrate, nope. Tritium we can do, dihydrogen we can do, ionized cobalt, nope. Solanium, we don't really need that right now, but we're holding on to it. This needs to go to our starship that we were holding on to there, so we have plenty of starship fuel. Hyperdrive, I don't know if we're going to need to jump with this, but I suppose we'll leave it be for now. So we need to generate lots more emerald and indium. We're going to do that by taking the indium out of here and then putting some of it back. I know I know it was mentioned in the comments that I I jump up to the door even though I built a ramp, but the ramp really is for appearances. We don't we don't have to use the ramp, right? Surely not. I would hope not. So first things first, we need a lot of emeralds. So let's put our emerald production here. All right. Luckily, we still have the 250, so we can keep that rolling. Here, we're going to do our indium. So let's get our chromatic metal going there, and then not the activated indium, but the regular indium. Just regular old traditional indium. Why is this all... Oh, it's... It's pulling stuff out of my... Other... Vehicles and whatnot. Oh. Well, I suppose that's a benefit to being nearby all of this, but... I don't know if that's going to be the way I want it to be all the time. We'll take this condensed carbon right now. I 
more activated indium. Sure. Get us some more chromatic metal, please. More activated indium? Sure. There you go. Magnetized ferrite. Should be able to get a little bit more out of that process. We'll do it that way. Uh, we haven't even checked the refiners upstairs. Wow, so much chromatic metal. And here I thought we wouldn't find a use for it, but really we, we did use a lot of it repairing our ship, so. And we made warp cells. Cannot forget about that. All of these are going to have a good bit of resources to give back to us. Another warp cell. And another warp cell. That was pretty neat. We used a lot of that chromatic metal to make warp cells. Since so we got these free warp cells, we might as well put them on our starship. You never know when you're going to need to warp, I say. Now that, that... I can't help but feel like that's a big waste. I really can't. Let's look at our exocraft. Uh, we're still looking at the Azure Spark, so what we need is to access our Colossus there. So let's do that. And let's just double check what we have put in its inventory, because I'm not still entirely sure what we're keeping on it. Oh, th we took the e-brake off as soon as we got in. Okay, hold on. Let's get where we're stable. Stable configuration, please. I do think that exocraft is cool, it's just so small. So we have two scanner modules, two mining beams, and an extra pulse engine. Probably give that pulse engine to the fighter. Look at all the chromatic metal. Oh my goodness. And the carbon crystals and the... Yeah, so we need all of this stuff to come out of here. Look at all that chromatic metal. Holy moly. I suppose we'll just leave it like this for now. Although I don't... Maybe I will store one of these in my starship. This is more what I want my exocraft to look like. Just like that. Alright, let's go up, up, and up our ramp. See, I took the ramp that time. And more magnetized ferrite, thank you. And now we're, we're full up on room. We don't have room for any of this other nonsense. We're gonna have to borrow the refiners upstairs. And then we're gonna get we're gonna get a lot of this inventory madness taken care of. We are, I promise. I know it's been bothering some people, and and it's time that we're going to get it squared away. We really are. We're going to sell some of this extra ionized cobalt and chlorine, whatever we have that we don't really need, we're going to get rid of it. We're going to prep all these refiners for removal of these items. And I think if it's less than five, we'll go ahead and burn it now, like that chloride lattice. We can take that. That's, that's wasteful. There it is. Okay. So we've got all of these materials ready. I think the first thing we're going to look at is, again, we need, we need some technology modules. Let's start taking chromatic metal and getting these technology modules. 
not selling me technology modules down here. What? So we need to go up to our to our space station. It's not really how that's going to be. Look at all this sodium and activated copper and oh, oh, it's mad! It's maddening! It's so maddening, it really is. Um, all right, let's look at our Colossus Exocraft because I think there's more we can put out here. Specifically, we're not going to need all this navigation data anymore. Let's go ahead and. You know what? Hold, hold, hold on, hold on. I, I had an epiphany. We have other exocraft, but specifically, it has been mentioned in the comments that I'm, I'm holding on to these extra items that are taking up inventory space, and I like to have them when I'm exploring. But when I'm exploring, I'm generally using the Azure Spark. So, why don't I take things like this um, portable refiner and this marine shelter should go to the Nautilon. Signal booster can go to save point. I kind of like having one of those on me. So really we weren't able to take that much. No, nah, we'll put the save point on the Nomad. This can the Star Silk goes to the Colossus. This is going to go to the Nautilon. This stays with us. These things are going to go to our Explorer craft. This goes to high capacity inventory. Look at that. We're getting there. We're getting there. I know. It's a process though. And I think it's important that people see my process maybe a little bit. Oh, look how pretty this looks. I really like this ship. I do, I do. Let's put these in the starship. Because they're only going to take up one spot. And this starship is what warps. Oh no, they do take up two. I mean, that's okay. This is literally the thing that warps around. And it still has some inventory space. Not bad. Not bad. Quite a little exploration craft. So here I thought I had to activate my exocraft last if I wanted to use it, but it turns out with quick transfer I can select any of the nearby exocraft. That's pretty neat. Magnetized ferrite, magnetized ferrite. Still need some of that paraffinium. I think it's time to go get some paraffinium. So let's go ahead and I'm going to travel to a base I have not been to in quite some time. I'm just going to see what happens. So let's go to. was the name of it. Paradise Lost, I believe, was the name of it, right? Amber Waves of Bounty. I have a request for the, the portal coordinates to this base, and we're going to do that. We are. Just not right now. All right, let's go to Paradise Lost. Oh, here we are. The Jupinski system. I remember this. Oh, no! We have grass in our building. Oh, no. The grass is growing back through our building. Chen 78's base. Oh, yeah, this was our first, our first real planet that we set up on. It's purple. It's a purpley sort of base. It's very purpley. Okay. And this storage container is full of weirdness. Right, right, right. So my thought process is we shove the enriched carbon over to my starship, which we are quickly deciding is the holder of all of these weird things that we're going to do crafting with. 
which is fine because it has the storage. It can handle it. We've got all this extra frost crystal on us now. It's okay. I'm inclined to go a little window happy at some point. Um, let's see if these have paraffinium to collect, and they do. Look at that. Oh, I meant to... I meant to leave a little bit of that paraffinium behind. It looks like it's going to... Alright, it is generating paraffinium. I did mean to leave some behind. So it is... No, the... There it is. That's what I was looking for. We don't really have that much inventory space for Star Bramble, but I should be able to start repairing sections of my starship right away. 410 per radiation leak. That seems extreme. It really does. Wow. So we're going to need to collect pretty much all of this in this one sitting here. And then we won't even get to plant more Star Bramble. Yikes. Well, we might have to make a few more trips back to this base, or this outpost, because this outpost is not producing what it's supposed to be producing. And I don't know how much Star Bramble we're going to need in the long run for the scale of production we want to do, but... RB76. But I know that it's going to take some. And we really just don't have that much. I think I should do a round of planting and harvesting Star Bramble before I start spending paraffinium on repairs. Because we need to get to where this Star Bramble is yielding, you know, a, a couple thousand at a pop, or else we're not really... We have our base set up the way we want it to be set up. And it looks like we're barely going to get over a thousand in a single harvest. That's atrocious. Twenty-five a pop, though. That's that's why that happens like that. Okay, so we did get a thousand. There is some left over. Let's go ahead and we shall deposit this thousand into here. I don't know what that's all about. Oxygen harvester. Did we not put atmosphere harvesters here? Did we not? We do want to gather atmosphere from this planet, do we not? We did no such thing. Well, that was uh, an oversight. So let's see. The atmosphere harvesters are going to require metal plating and hermetic seals. We should be able to get these from here. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then nothing on the paraffinium. And hermetic seals, I believe that's copper, is it not? Let's take a peek. Condensed carbon, six, which, okay, we can't really do that, but we will be able to here in just a moment. One... There we go. Two. And then three. Let's go ahead and just do that. Boom. Okay. For some reason, I didn't think nitrogen was going to be necessary. I don't know. We are going to need it, though, for many of the things we're going to construct. Oxygen, I think we're swimming in O2, to be honest. Well, we're using it up. No, we're still over 2,000. We're still over 2,000.
All right, let's see how much Star Bramble is left, because I think this Star Bramble is going to be replanted. And then we'll use the rest of the Paraffinium to repair what we can. 410 Paraffinium per radiation leak, though, means we might only be able to repair another one. <laughs> to, be, to be honest. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and make these repairs. Or uh, plant. Let's plant more, rather. Star Bramble. Oh, that went fast. Okay. Starship. We have radiation leak. And the next one. Same thing. Alright, and then after that, we'll start repairing these containment failures. have plenty for all of this. Damaged gears, we need technology modules. Out of magnetized ferrite once again. It's okay. We'll figure out what to put in the technology block here eventually. Shield is boosted the most. Hyperdrive second. And some damage. Well, the hauler gets a little bit of everything. That's kind of slick. We may move the phase beam over to the technology slot just to increase our inventory that much further. I know we'll likely put the launch, the efficient launch thrusters over here as well. In fact, I think we're going to go as light on the technology on this as possible, and it's all going to go on the technology side just so, just so we can afford to haul as much inventory in our hauler as possible. And we used all the Star Bramble. So, perfect. And we have a little bit of leftover paraffinium. Not a problem. Our atmosphere harvesters are running. And our storage for this planet is starting to get where we want it. We could snag this paraffinium for now. I mean, we might as well. What good is having it if we're not going to use it? Hi, I'm Thranxes, and I'm a resource hoarder. It's nice to meet you. I'm trying to cut down. Um, I wouldn't say I've been clean for a while. I just tend to stockpile my resources a little abhorrently, but we're doing our best. And now we're short on paraffinium. We don't have what's left. Okay. Well, the rest of the paraffinium can go right into here, and then that's less for us to hold on to. Perfect. we leave anything in the refiner before we go? No, we did not. And I don't think they sell technology modules here. It would be slick if they did. But I don't think that they do. They do not. Okay. So let's return to Terranautica main base. We have returned to Terranautica main base. And there are so many resources we must begin to take out of these machines. We cannot even, cannot even begin. Let's go ahead, we'll continue processing emerald, which we need. Indium, which we need. Actually, we can replace this indium. And then we'll go ahead and Keep processing the activated indium into more chromatic metal. And the magnetized ferrite. That's going to be a thing we need more of. So let's take... So really, all we did was... We need more of that indium.
this stuff needs to be processed. We'll just take all the chromatic metal we can. And it's the same thing here. We're going to take all this emerald. Right, so now what we can do... Yeah, check out how awesome this is. Oh, we still got a little remainder. Hold on. Stand by. All right, so now what we can do is we can take some of the indium we already just got. We can make more indium. It's infinite indium. It's an, it's indiumception. We'll do the same thing over here with the emerald. Now the emerald, we probably don't need to do that with. We only need enough emerald to restock our... restock our uh, chromatic metal storage and then we just need one stack of 250 indium to finish it off which we have already and I'm rolling we have 250 this gives us 500 244, this gives us more indium. 244, okay. So now what we do here is we take the indium at 250 and we mix it with the ferrite dust and voila, we get one to four magnetized ferrites. We're gonna make lots of excess emerald and lots of excess indium. We have tons of chromatic metal, so we don't even have to stop and consider what we're doing with that. So we need to put 250 indium back, which we have, and then one more emerald, one more emerald pop, and then we'll be good with that. So that'll come from here. So here I want to do the same thing, sort of. So if we take our, let's see, if we take chromatic metal and we mix it with oxygen, what does that give us? I don't think that gives us anything, yeah. But if we take the oxygen and we mix it with the magnetized ferrite, we get a rare metal element. No, 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 that's, that's what we do to get our pure ferrite, but I believe if we want more ferrite dust, we need to mix the oxygen with pure ferrite, yes, to get one to two rusted metal which restocks us on ferrite dust. Okay. It's a bit of a conundrum, a little bit of a loop. So we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to go indium to... Uh, no, 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 not oxygen. Where are my manners? Indium to... ferrite dust. What about indium to platinum? That doesn't do anything. Really? Platinum does some fun stuff. I guess not. Alright, indium to ferrite dust. Go ahead. Get that magnetized ferrite. Okay, at this point, I feel like we can absolutely 100% restock our chromatic metal box and do away with it. So let's do that. Restock that, this, there, and there. Perfect! Look at it. It's beautiful. That's what I like. Now you don't belong here anymore. None of you do actually. Give me all that back. Thank you. Oh. The railing. Now, are we clearing out our inventory? Of course we're not. <laughs> our inventory is just absolutely clobbered with stuff. Look at this. It's quite atrocious. It is.
All right, I think what we're going to do, though, is we're going to start processing these and selling them. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, these produce 150 at a pop, and the machine can only hold 300. So if you don't want to have any waste, because it will drop the extra 50 if you dally. Um, if you don't want to have any waste, you need to pull out the 150 every single time it's ready. So you got to kind of be standing there, and you got to have the inventory space for it. Then what we'll do, honestly, is we're just going to come over here and sell all of our ionized cobalt for about a mil. And we're going to do that for all of these. Now let's save... Let's save one bit of cobalt and one bit of chlorine for the end. Because I want to actually have a stack of each one in my inventory at all times. But these other ones we can fully sell and get rid of. They're not really doing us any favors. And it's just good money, really. And it's a way to slightly store more than you can hold in a high-capacity inventory slot, but really it's not. It's, it's really only great for storage if you're going to be holding it in a standard inventory spot. And I say that because your standard your standard inventory can hold 250, whereas a stack of tetra cobalt is 650. So that's a pretty significant difference. But if you're going to hold it in your high capacity inventory spot, then it can hold 500, which is still more, um, or 500 is still less than 650, but it's not as big of a difference. It is a difference, it's just not a profound difference. Okay, we're starting to make room here. I think we can go ahead and start processing. How about some of these carbon crystals? Condensed carbon is always valuable. We're not going to sell any of this. We're going to hold on to it because that's what we power all of our stuff with. We're getting there. Alright. It might be time to utilize our secondary bit of storage in our Exocraft. This is the Roamer. No. Well, I know what we can do. We can put the Marine Shelter in the Nautilon. I know that. That's the thing I want to do. So let's do that. Down the hillside we go. To our little, our little community uh, lake here. Or I guess it's an inland sea. Not really a lake. All right, that already switched my craft, so I'd like to move the marine shelter to the Nautilon. And then the rest of this, is this all stuff I want to hold on to? This can come to my inventory here. But the eyes, the chlorine, the cytophosphate, the salt, that all seems like stuff you want to keep because that's stuff you're going to mine up. And then extra storage. No, that's good. I'm happy with that. I'll tell you what, we're not walking back. Let's get the Azure Spark over here, please. So long, and thanks for all the fish. Right on.
I think it's time we, yeah. Let's let's store all this frost crystal in the Colossus. That can go high capacity inventory. So can that Colossus. That we're gonna hold on to. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that yet, but I'm gonna hold on to it. Look at that. We're getting there. We're getting there. This is going to be... It's going to have to be balanced out all over the place. Nope, stop marking. Stop marking waypoints, please. Look at this. We've done no base construction. Really just getting our inventory squared away. Well, we have been... I guess we have been repairing our, our starship. So That's a good thing. And we're still so short on those technology modules, so we may just need to go hit up the space station. It's such a such a loop of, of manufacturing. That's why I like having so many refiners laid out. Here, we'll go ahead and we'll start processing rusted metal. And I believe we also saw some activated copper I'm going to get out of my inventory. Yes, please, and thank you. And then we've got a little remainder of... No, right over here. Got a little remainder of activated copper. We're going to go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, that's good for now. Let's take our starship up to the space station and buy some technology modules. And these hallways are closed. I'm trapped up here. Trapped, I tell you. We did. We parked in a weird spot, didn't we? Did we? No, we parked over here. That's why they're circling? No, they're not circling. I think more than anything, we're going to have to take a picture of our ship for the thumbnail because we're trying to get this thing squared away, right? So let's go ahead and... No, we, we do sunrise a lot. Let's do sunset. Look at that. I am master of time. Time, I'm master of time. I like that. Filters? Oh. Oh, how have I not played around with these? Oh, wow. Artistic? Okay, Thranks has just figured something out. That's fine. Um. There you go. Not bad. <laughs> oh, that's fun. I'm going to have a lot more fun with those photos. Okay, as we were. To the space station. Oh, that's our freighter. Let's not, let's not hit any frigates or our freighter, please. Actually, how much... Hold on. How much condensed carbon am I currently sitting on? 500, 500, 500, 500, okay, I have plenty. And the chromatic metal we're good on. And... Is that it? I'm oh, just warping right in there, huh?
I think... I know you get condensed carbon from the fuel bulkers. I think chromatic metal comes from the trade vessels. I think we can get magnetized freight from our industrial frigates. Either way, we're going to land and check that out here in just a moment. Okay, so our game sort of locked up and froze there, and I actually had to do a good bit of that over again, and that was not fun. But I did figure out what I'm going to do with this selenium, and I can't believe I didn't see it sooner, is we're going to make a heat capacitor and then scrap the rest and send that to our starship. Yes, yes, yes. Very good, very good. So I think some of this stuff, some of these containment failure parts that we already fixed aren't fixed now because, again... We lost a little bit of the progress we had made. I tried to redo everything exactly as I had. I mean, it's pretty much all just inventory maintenance, and I know, but I know some people really like to see that. I did put all the chlorine we had um, for sale before fixing that, but we do have chloride lattice, so not a problem. We'll be able to take care of that in a little bit. For now, though, we need these technology modules, and that is the main reason we came all the way up here. So we're going to do that. Let's go ahead and purchase... Oh, quite a few of them, I would say. 20 to start. Let's see how that fits. So we'll go ahead and get these damaged gears going. Open up all this inventory space on our ship. thought about doing some of this on camera, however, and maybe it's just me, I feel like fixing the parts of this ship is such a cathartic thing, it feels so good to just knock all these little things out. And then you can see the ship as it comes along gets itself nice and fixed up. That's paraffinium, that's chlorine. We're going to get chlorine back down on the ground, and that is... So now we're all we're missing is chlorine and paraffinium. And that is it. Let's go ahead and dismantle this phase beam. I will take that. All of this is for storage. And this is where we'll put technology. So let's... Let's see. What did I have left for technology modules on my person. We still just have the one. Well, I don't agree with that. I think we should have what, at least five, so go ahead and grab four more. I think when it comes to batteries, I have eight. Really? I have eight? Three, five. Oh, I guess I do. So we'll buy two more batteries, three more microprocessors, let's see, two batteries, three microprocessors, and five metal plates. I, I think that's probably the way to do it. I don't know if I need to hold that stuff on me, though. I know the microprocessors are beneficial. And if I'm already got eight ion batteries, I might as well grab ten. Phosphorus. Don't really need any of that. All right, let's go look at what kind of starship modules are being sold here in our home system. See if there's anything we want to put on our hauler. Right. Cyclotron, photon cannon, starship shield. I don't know if I want to go with the photon cannon. I I'm going to grab that starship shield module, though. That can start right away. That way we have a little bit of longevity. And so it's going to be shield, shield, shield. And then I think phase beam, phase beam, phase beam, phase beam weapon. And then this one would be... 
Do I want three shields? Shield's pretty good. Phase beam. I want three. Maybe we should. We don't really have the maneuverability. See, this, this is really just going to be self defense. The engine might be better. I know we're going to want the teleporter, though. I mean, just because it's mostly for inventory. I'm going to mull that one over. I don't know how I want to do that, but I know I want nothing here. Oh, no, so we're going to need efficient thrusters somewhere over here. Could do these right here right now. I don't know where I want to put it, though, if I want three shields or not. Because if I don't, putting it there would be ideal. Ah, oh, we're going to leave it empty for now. We're gonna leave it empty for now. Most of the time, though, I would imagine this ship is going to be landing at uh, landing pads, so it won't be using its launch fuel. And oh my goodness, I'm not sure how much of the shenanigans prior to the, the system crash are going to be cut out. I know some of them are gonna be cut out, but we're quickly approaching the point where we're gonna be over an hour, and I don't wanna be over an hour. So let's get back to this area here, where our capital ship is. Nope, break away. I would like to go to my capital ship, please. All right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to land on our, I don't think these are, are these my industrial ships? These might be the supply ships. Surveying and processing planetary deposits and local asteroids. The minerals are yours. Yes, these are my industrial ships. So we're going to take that magnetized ferrite. And let's see, where's the next one? The next one's over here. Yep, I would like your magnetized ferrite as well, please. Easy does it. Whoa. No, no, no. Don't don't get wrecked. I'm caught up. Oh, wait. Uh, that captain is irritated with me. I mean, I would say that they would be sad because now they have to go out and repair their ship from the damages I just gave it. But we all know I'm the one that has to make the repairs, so they don't have a right to complain. Right? That's how that works? Pretty sure that's how that works. So they can just get on board with it. That being said, that's where we're going to wrap up episode 150 of No Man's Sky. Thank you so much for joining me. I do hope you've had a good time watching. Because as always, I have had that good time playing. Please be sure to come back next time as I promise we're going to begin work on the base. I shouldn't make that promise. That's a recipe for failure. But I'm going to throw it out there. Because most of this inventory stuff will be handled. And we'll be able to finish construction on our factory and looking at more production for money to increase the things which we're producing and selling. Like portable reactors and such. But until next time, take care.